parking lot situation and making it into the theater. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah. It's a good looking audience, Bobby. I'm yeah, excited. Very attractive. I like that. Uh, by round of applause, how many of you attractive people have been to Made Up Theater before? <laughs> nice. Just three people? Wow. But they came back. That's awesome. Yeah. And how about the people that are seeing a Made Up Theater show for the first time tonight? Let's make some Explain how things breath. work really fast. Uh, we're gonna do a bunch of improv games, very similar to the TV show Whose Line Is It Anyway? All of the games require your suggestions. So I'm gonna warm you up with some suggestions. At the count of three, yell out your name. Here we go. One, two, three. I Good, got that right? Yeah, they did. Uh, now, uh, name out something, name something that starts with the same letter as the first letter of your name. Ready? One, two, three. Ow! Ooh, even stronger. Ooh. They're getting good. A sport that you hate watching. A sport you hate watching. One, two, three. It's... Oh. <laughs> golf. <laughs> okay. It's not exciting to yeah. watch. Uh, how about um, if I were holding something in my hand and it was orange, but it's not an orange, Ooh. what could it be? Basketball. I didn't even have to count that time, yeah. baby. That's <laughs> so good. Uh, all right, give it up for Catherine, who's our lights and sound for us tonight. And we had Sean on the front. Oh, my goodness. 
you're right, also going to see Sean up on stage because we're going to bring out the rest of the cast. Yeah. So make some noise as we bring the cast out. Let's go. <laughs> Amazing Carolyn and the amazing Bobby. Yay! I, oh, thank you. I got the least amount of applause. What's up? Okay, uh, that's fine. Uh, all right, I'm going to challenge the, you guys to play the first game. Of, let's do try that on for size. Okay, so get some physicality going right away. All right, you there. What is a sport that you do enjoy watching? Basketball. Basketball. Okay. Yeah. So what's going to happen is they are going to make a basketball motion, okay? The other person's going to mimic that exact motion, but they're going to say something completely different. And they're going to go back and forth and see how many things they can get using that basketball motion. When they mess up, I'll throw them off and we'll uh, get some new people on. Okay, so Sean, you can start it off. Try that on for size. Take it away! Make some noise! I'm playing basketball. Try that on for size. I'm reaching for the stars. Try that on for size. <laughs> I'm ball tapping a giant. Try that on for size. <laughs> I'm introducing myself to that same giant. Try that on for size. I'm a brontosaurus. Ah, try that on for size. I'm playing with a hand puppet. Woo, 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 woo. Try that on for size. I am saying I'm this tall to ride. <laughs> try that on for size. Two new people. Uh, your basketball motion was kind of weird. <laughs> All right, let's get uh, something that you have to do at home, like maybe a household chore. What's a household chore? Vacuuming. Vacuuming. Okay, so we're gonna start with vacuuming. Try that on for size. Go ahead, Gert. I'm vacuuming. Try that on for size. I'm playing shuffleboard. Try that on for size. I'm skewering a pig. Try that on for size. I'm murdering. Try that on for size. I'm poking a bear. Try that on for size. I'm trying a new sexy move. Try that on for size. I think it's working on me. I should do a disclaimer. This show is for 16 years of age. All right, good, good to know, good to know. Uh, all right, how about a location? Any location at all? Texas. Texas. All right, show us your Texas move. Carolyn, you'll start with this one. You're doing something Texas. Here we go. I'm eating barbecue. Try that on for size. Ha, I'm saying, hello, stranger. <laughs> Try that on for size. I'm looking in somebody's post box. Try that on for size. I'm saying, Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. <laughs> Try that on for size. I'm eating the world's squishiest sandwich. Try that on for size. I'm getting stuck in five Chinese fingers. <laughs> Try that on for size. a few brave souls to play the next game. It's going to be changing emotions and stuff. Uh, who's going to play that? Okay, come on. Up. Oh, well, you have fans. Awesome. <laughs> All right, and we can, Sean, yes, great. So um, can I get an emotion, like happy, sad? What's another emotion? Terror. Terror, anger. Oh, good ones. <laughs> uh, what else? Terror, anger? Embarrassed. Jealous, despair, embarrassed. Okay. All right, can I get a, um, how about a voice that you might hear if you watch a, a, you know, a very famous TV show or cartoon or a movie? A voice, a famous voice. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. What was Sean that? Connery. Morgan, Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Sean Connery. Okay, awesome. All right, can I get maybe a genre of movie that you might enjoy watching? Any genre at all? Wow. Okay, action, rom-com, film noir. Sci-fi. Sci-fi. Wow, you were running really fast. Thank you, Sean. Uh, okay. Action, you are sci-fi. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now let's get. Uh, how about an actor? Oh no. How about like a famous celebrity that we would all know? Doesn't have to be an actor. It could be any celebrity. Britney Spears. Jim Carrey and Britney Spears. Thank you. Okay. All right. Very good. Give yourselves a round of applause. All right. The way this game is going to work is we are going to put these people in a cool location. What location are they at? Hawaii. Hawaii, okay. So they're on a vacation in Hawaii. Anytime I want, I'm gonna yell one of these suggestions that you've given us, and everybody on stage has to immediately take form of whatever that is. It has to be the voice, it has to be the genre, it has to be the whatever you gave us, okay? So let's review these really quickly. Thank you, Sean, thank you so much. We have terror, anger, embarrassed, jealous, despair, Mickey Mouse, Sean Connery, Morgan Freeman, uh, action, noir, sci-fi, Britney Spears, and Jim Carrey, all right? 
See if I can get through all of them. <laughs> all right, we're in Hawaii. Give it up for them! Welcome to Hawaii. Oh, yeah. That's some good hip shaking. Um, <laughs> Bob, this isn't going to work. I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm sorry. Embarrassed. I just don't know how to tourist trap. <laughs> do, do I have to move my hips all the time, or can I just do them every third beat? I just, I think that I'm too skinny to be a, like, buff, sp like, s skating, no, <laughs> surfing dude. Hi, um, I, I don't know if I'm in the right place. Is this the cultural center? Uh, I mean, oh my it gosh. could be. If, if it's not, I can go. Sci-fi! I can absolutely leave once I get my specimens. <laughs> you won't probe me again. Oh, come on. It was so fun probing you last time. I need to probe every hula dancer on the island. Jealous! Jealous? <laughs> Even I haven't probed every hula dancer in this island. Well, maybe you should get your act together. Oh, ho, ho. Hey, Noir! <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I don't know if the smoking's good for my hula dancing, but boy, do I look sexy. <laughs> she did look sexy. <laughs> but I knew she wasn't just a dancer. She was a spy. For that man. I never fit quite in in this tourist industry. <laughs> Terror! <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore! <laughs> I've never smoked before! <laughs> Am I gonna die? Tourists scare me! I don't like tourists, they suck! Okay, I'll go! I'll go! Action movie! I'll get out of here immediately! <laughs> oh, come back here! I'm gonna surf after you! Whoa! I know where you've been, <laughs> and I know you did it. Oh, yeah, I was trying to find a way in that. Ready, Spears! Ah, 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 ah. You yeah. are not going to beat me singing. I also know that you did it, and you are totally toxic. <laughs> Anger! That's it! I quit! I can't do this anymore! These tourists are driving me insane! No, obviously I did this. I screwed this all up. You had a beautiful cultural center and then I came and ruined it. You and three men. And that's the worst thing I could have done. <laughs> <laughs> Which is... It is Columns. Columns, that's right. So Columns is going to have a couple players here, but we also need a couple audience volunteers. And for this game, you get to come and sit in these obviously very comfortable chairs. <laughs> and um, what you're going to be doing is providing some help for our, assistant, for our players, basically the suggestions that you've been giving them, but this time you get to give them all by yourself from a chair. Um, so they'll be doing a scene, and at some point they will contact you to help fill in the gaps. So who do we have that feels like they want to come up and play this game? Maybe some people came together and they want to do it competitively. Ooh. Maybe some people came together and they want to do it while looking in each other's eyes lovingly. Ooh. Maybe two strangers want to come and do it and see what happens. Ooh. There's one. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Beautiful. That's one chair. You want to come up with your person? You want to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah they only have to say one word. That's true. It's one word at a time. It's very easy. There we go. Yeah. Nan, and your name? Julianne. Julianne, give it up for Nan and Julianne. <laughs> All right, so you feel comfortable 
how the, ca how the cast is going to play. When they need you, they might just touch you gently on the shoulder or something like that. You'll fill in a word. So something like, um, oh, you know what? I think I lost my keys. Maybe I left them in the battery. The battery. <laughs> <laughs> and they will repeat that and then figure out where it takes them. Great. Good job. All right. Team. Uh, let me get them a suggestion from you guys. How about like a professional relationship between two people? Therapist. Therapist and client? <laughs> Therapist and client. <laughs> All right, team, are you ready? Yes. Let's see it. One thing I despise about this profession is when the clients... <laughs> I was going to say are late, but you know, you've proven me wrong, Jeremy. Aren't I supposed to be telling you about my problem? <laughs> That would cost a little extra. <laughs> well, all right, do you accept? PayPal. <laughs> PayPal, that's all I'm good for right now. <laughs> Dr. Non Freud at PayPal me. Oh, Jeremy, honey, I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, I'm so sorry. I was caught at work because. The cats. The cats. <laughs> Damn cats. I am a veterinarian, as you know. Oh, another excuse. <sighs> Sit down, Jonathan. Well, I'm glad we're working on ourselves. Yes. You know, but God, I can't stand it. Every day, you always... Do the dishes wrong. Ah, do the dishes wrong! Let me stop... You dry before you wash! Let me stop right here and get everybody to... Hold hands. Hold hands! Get out of your heads, get into your hands. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for this. Out of your head, the last out. time I held somebody's hand, I was... 45. 45. <laughs> Clearly, I'm 55 now, so it's been 10 years. We never physically embrace touch. We gotta, we gotta try new things. Like last week, remember when I said, hey, let's go out and... Drive the car into a ditch. Drive the car into a ditch. <laughs> I know that's not sensible, but it's excitement, you know? We put our lives at stake, but no, you had to stay home and... Shape the legs. <laughs> Shape the legs. Well, I wanted a different form of excitement. Oh, right there! You missed an opportunity to... Look at each other's teeth. <laughs> Look at each other's teeth! At that moment, you kind of stumbled. You could have been there I think we need a new therapist. <laughs> Wait, oh my god, your teeth, I can see your soul. That's right. What? What is my soul saying? Is it like... <laughs> uh, it was my birthday last week. It was, it was my birthday last week? Is it saying that? <laughs> and I forgot. You did oh. forget. What do you see in my teeth? Do you, oh. oh, I see a lot of things. I see a... Black. Black. <laughs> yeah, I had caviar because, you know, I was wine tasting at... Jeff Bezos' house. Jeff, <laughs> Jeffy B, you know, yeah. we're friends. I've never been to Jeff Bezos' house. The only place I remember going was Denny's. <laughs> Denny's! Yeah. 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 Give it up again for Nana Julian! Yeah. Awesome. Our next game is going to require the whole to be in a back line behind me. We're going to play one of my favorite games called the Instruction Manual. Uh, I'm sure all of you have gotten and ignored instruction manuals before. And uh, this instruction manual is for an item that would never need an instruction manual. A very simple thing. What's something that doesn't need an instruction manual? Scissors. Scissors. Excellent. <laughs> all right. So this is the introductory chapter of the instruction manual for your scissors. Are you ready, team? Yes. yes. Congratulations, you now have a pair of scissors. You can cut anything you want, like paper, you can cut your sister's hair, you can cut your spaghetti right before you cook it in the pot on the stove. It's a wonderful thing because you You can take it anywhere. It's a portable scissor. And it was only $9.95 on sale. Woo! So you get an idea how it works. If I pull my arm away, they have to stop talking. I let Edgar get away with repeating the word you in that example. I will not do that again. So if they repeat a word, if they hesitate, uh, those kind of things, I can kick them out because I have all the power now. So what is the next chapter in this instruction manual, a particular topic in the instruction manual? You know, the different, what is it? Sharpening. Sharp, how to sharpen your scissors. Ready? Conventional methods of sharpening scissors fail with these 
scissors because they're dull. Therefore, you need a sharpening slab. Go to your nearest Costco and purchase our assortment of various Snickers bars. <laughs> Those Snickers bars will help sharpen that pair of scissors to a point that you would not believe. Sharpening scissors with Snickers? Oh my gosh. Therefore, now you got your sharpened scissors and you can cut many things such as your your stuff! <laughs> Sorry to all you Andrew fans out there. He'll be back. He'll be back. All right. Uh, can I get another chapter for this instruction manual? Warnings. 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 Very important. These scissors do come with a warning of them being hazardous to your health. Because the lead in these scissors <laughs> is poisonous to you. It can go right to your blood and cause you to have dysentery. Therefore, <laughs> if you have dysentery, go to your nearest bathroom and poo. Get it out of your system immediately. Dysentery based on lead scissor poisoning is the worst. Illness <laughs> in the world. It cannot be exuded necessarily without special treatments. One treatment is your significant other giving you a back rub and whispering sweet enough things in your ear. The other treatment involves a laxative, which you want to take before you attempt to sit down too long. <laughs> so take this laxative while standing <laughs> because it'll help relieve you of any tension that you might have. Built up from the poopy body. <laughs> Sitting, sitting down is so beneficial to your life and your health. Oh, oh sorry, Bridget. You did well, but I moved my hand. Yeah. All right, another suggestion. What was it? Oh, wording. <laughs> of a chapter in this instruction manual. Throwing. What was that? Throwing. Throwing? That's like a guide, not an instruction manual. <laughs> warning, we did warnings. <laughs> what is it? Daily use. Daily use? Okay, daily use. Want to make a paper airplane? Do it every day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, half, Thursday. Oh! oh Wednesday, what? half, Thursday. I'm trying to have happy yeah. days. <laughs> okay, yeah, go for it. All right, last chapter in this instruction manual. Cleaning. Cleaning. Cleaning your scissors. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Use Cleaning rubbing alcohol to keep your scissors you clean. Do do every day you need to go to Safeway is open at 20. Not to have friction, and in this case, you don't want friction when you. Clean your scissors. Every day you want to keep them really spotless, B. Because it's necessary in order to be able to put the appropriate lubricant at the junctional point. The junctional point is side A on this diagram. And over here on diagram two, we have the mass spectroscopy that you use when you want to break down the metal to its elemental components. Now, if you look at the periodic tape, Bowl, there are many <laughs> elements that these scissors embody, like A, B, A, B, C, D, E, and F. G is off. often. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. The next game is called Crime Story. We need a brave soul to be our guesser in Crime Story. Okay. Oh, yeah. committed a crime, but it's not really a crime. It's just a physical activity. What physical activity was he doing? Lifting. Lifting what? Weights. Okay. <laughs> the obvious weights, Bobby. Okay, lifting weights. He was lifting weights. Okay, what is something that you've always wanted to happen in this world? Something you've always desired? Lights. What? Lights. Lights? Lights. Flight. 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 Yeah. Oh, to be able to fly. Okay. He was lifting weights because he wanted to be able to fly. Awesome. Okay. And who was a celebrity accomplice that was with him that we would all know? O.J. Simpson. Oh. <laughs> I will take it. <laughs> all right. Give it up for those suggestions. <laughs> all right. So Edgar, he's out in our soundproof balcony. <laughs> so he can't hear what's happening right now. So what's going to happen is he's going to come back in, and he's going to be uh, interrogated by police officers. Maybe his lawyer might show up. We'll see what happens. And they're going to subtly draw clues as to what he was doing, why he was doing it, and who he was with, because of you. <laughs> okay? And so the clues will be subtle, and they'll get closer and closer and closer. When he actually says one of the things, we have to go crazy, because he won't know otherwise. So let's say he actually says it. Go crazy! <laughs> All right. Promise.
probably not gonna happen for a while. <laughs> All right, so what was the thing he was doing? Uh, he was lifting weights because he wanted to be able to fly and he did it with O.J. Simpson. All right. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> All right, let's bring him back. Come on, my boy. Hey, take it away. Ah, uh, hi, you again, huh? Yeah, what of it? Getting a little lippy already, huh? Yeah, man. Just come on, tell us. We we gotta know. We'll get you off. I'm gonna lose my job if you don't confess. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, we're gonna watch you 24 hours, bro. Uh, 24 hours. Yeah, 24 hours. Uh, you spending that much time in the gym, buffing up? Yeah, that's right. I work out a lot. Mm. Yeah, but we need we need it for the record, like what you specifically do. I steal weights. Whoa! Oh, you don't steal them. Oh, Please yeah. don't say that. Yeah. <laughs> that to the charges. Huh. You know, if we wanted to, that's a little bit of pressure there, huh? Oh, yeah, really? yeah, you know, you like to uh, exert force in an upward fashion. What might you call that? I like to lift weights. Oh, yeah. I do that from time to time. Uh, on the record, it's on the record yeah. this time. So what of it? I lift weights. Uh, yeah. yeah, but there's a reason you do that. So why don't you make it easy on all of us and just fess it up? Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, your arms must be tired. <laughs> Well, I'm, <laughs> well, I'm tired of being an inflatable wavy arm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, see, look, I'm behind you now. Yeah? Don't you wish you could spin around and see things from a different vantage point? Yeah. So I wanted to be a ballerina. What of it? Hey, man, look, I, I empathize with you. I, I, I don't think you're incorrect. I think you're right, brother. Yeah. All right. Yeah? Yeah, so why, yeah. why'd you do it? Because I'm a I'm a pitcher at an MLB. What? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. You know, it, it's, here's the problem though. Huh. It's bad enough all the things you did, but you didn't even have a license to go up in there. Oh, really? That's right. Well, I like to fly fighter jets. Oh well, that last part, well, kind of more the middle part. The I like to fly. I like oh. to fly. So. Look, let's just say that's pretty much it, but we need correct verbiage because you lacked this. I wanted to fly. Oh, well, I flew. Look, I'm going to get you to guess this word, goddammit. All right. Look, you work out, right? Yeah. Yeah, look, look, at, that. Yeah, look at my six pack. Yeah, we're well, yeah. Tip you. I'm gonna give you this one dollar bill. Oh, hey, uh, this right here. Ah, yeah. Hey, can I get you a coffee or get you another thing? Tea. Yeah. Okay. I wanted the ability to fly. Yeah. That's all I wanted. All right, that's yeah. on the record. That's but all. When you did that, huh? you weren't alone. In fact, no. I don't know how you got away with it with that guy. Well, he's my best friend. Oh. oh. We better be careful how we do it. That was off the record. <laughs> Look, uh, I got this uh, this gun. It doesn't have any fingerprints on it. You know, you might call it a naked gun. Oh. <laughs> one, of, one of his one rolls. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't touch that without at least one glove. Oh, that's right. <laughs> one glove, huh? <laughs> Mr. Tom Cruise was <laughs> around. No, no, he's a bit tall. Sorry, that was the Top Gun, not the naked gun. <laughs> twice, I would say, than time. Look, I don't think you get a lot of vitamins, you know? Maybe not tea or coffee, I'll get you a little breakfast drink. Yeah. Oh, of course, my best friend, OJ. <laughs> hey, hey. Had to be your best friend, huh? <laughs> That's what happens in improv, everybody. Uh, okay, I want to challenge the team to play a game called Alphabet Genre. So let's get some brave souls up here, maybe three or four, doesn't matter. Give it up for them. All right. You there in the little whitish hoodie, what is your first name? Katie. Katie, with a C or a K? K. K, okay. Your letter is K. All right, so right now they're using your name, Katie, and they're going to come up with like a title of a little, maybe a film. Uh, with K in it, and then they're gonna do a little, you know, like a little brief blurb of what it could be like, 
and then we're gonna vote on the one that you wanna see, okay? And then we're gonna see the scene from that movie, okay? So one by one, we're gonna be like pitching, they're gonna be like, okay, my total's called blah, 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 and here's what, what it might look like, and then the other person will do that, the other person will do that, and then we'll vote for the one that we're gonna see. Okay, so one by one. Pitch okay, Katie's uh, a genre or only a letter? Oh, the letter becomes whatever you oh, want it. So, oh, great. Yeah. Okay. I guess they need a little more time. <laughs> so, uh, we'll have a while they're thinking about it. Uh, we have a bunch of other things that we do here. So, uh, some select Friday nights, we do another improv show. Um, we also, we're having a, a guest come in. When's the, here the musical coming? May 3rd and 4th, we have a guest from Cleveland, originally from Chicago. It's a duo that's gonna perform a completely made up musical on the spot, Ooh, okay? On so, the on the 3rd. On the 4th, Oh! And what happens on the 4th? Uh, there's two drop-in classes. If you know improv, you can come and take a class. There we go. We also offer classes all throughout the year. So if you go to madeuptheater.com, you can see all kinds of vital information about signing up for classes, coming out for shows, all those types of things. Okay, hopefully I gave them enough time. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Here we go. Kites over the Atlantic. It's a romance film where a captain and his first mate try to bond together on a long voyage north in the Atlantic. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, good, good, good. You don't have to give away the whole movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, my movie is called Kids in Business. Ooh. And it's a uh, business drama a la Wall Street and the Wolf of Wall Street, but it's all children. All right. Ooh. Ooh. My movie is called Kick But Katie. Ooh. <laughs> and it is about a woman who, when she puts on her white hoodie, she becomes invisible and then she kicks butt. Ooh. <laughs> People getting their butt kicked don't even see it. All right. Okay, so one by one they're going to come up, they're going to say the title, and then you're going to applaud for all of them. Let's practice. Applaud for all of them. <laughs> all right. I should hear that same amount of sound for all three. Okay? <laughs> but then you're going to add woos for the one that you really want to see. All right. So Edgar, step up. You're going to hear some applause. <laughs> Kites over the Atlantic. Kids in business. Yeah. Kit but Katie. Yeah. Okay, so I you're definitely out, sorry. <laughs> so between these two, it was kind of similar, so really applaud and woo loudly for the one they would see. We have Carolyn, we have Kids in Business. Yeah. Versus Kick Butt Katie. Yeah. Yeah. Kick Butt Katie. Woo so Kick Butt Katie, we're gonna see, it's a whole movie, but we're gonna see a big scene from Kick Butt Katie, okay? Katie, what, what scene in your life do you wanna see? <laughs> no pressure, it could be like at school, it could be... Going to college. Going to college. Ladies and gentlemen, I present Kick Butt Katie, the movie, the scene, Going to College. Give it a look! I'm so excited to be here at Fremont University. Me too. <laughs> Look how huge our room is. I know, right? It's it's just everything I ever dreamed of. If it's okay with you, I already picked this side. Uh, I, I oh, kinda, I didn't give it up. I, I kind of wanted that side. Oh, sure. But it's okay. No, no, if, no, you it's don't, fine. if you don't mind, I'd really like to. Let why me, Why do you want to be on this side? Um. Well, all right. So, I have a secret. Ooh, I love secrets. So, it's okay, I'm your roommate. Don't tell me anything. I, I, I can trust you, right? Yes. Okay, so, when I, my stuff faces the west, I can put on my hoodie and become invisible. But I have to face the west. Show me. I, I don't usually show people this thing. And the reason is it's a little dangerous, because when I put on the hoodie, I become someone else. Well, I'm sorry, Katie, but I don't know if I can trust you. That doesn't sound like a very believable story. No, it's true. It's true. Okay, I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay, but but stay over there okay, so I don't know. accidentally hurt you because I don't want to hurt you. Let me get my suitcase. Okay. <laughs> you can see me, right? No. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey ladies, dorm inspection here. Hey. Has your roommate come at all yet? 
she, no. I mean, she dropped her stuff off and then she left. Are you stealing stuff? Because no. I see there's stuff for two people here. She went to the shared bathrooms. Oh, really? Yeah, you know Fremont University doesn't have her own en suite, uh -oh. even though our room is huge. Oh, well. I I'm must, gonna... I must kick butt. <laughs> Did you hear something? I mean, I'm just gonna say you probably shouldn't be a hard ass about this. All right. I'm trying to, trying to keep it in my... Oh, oh, shoot, I gotta tie my shoes with it. <laughs> to make sure your internet's all good to go. You know, if you have an ethernet cable, it would go right here. Just like right oh! here. Oh! it wasn't me. Oh. I think it's just like a breeze or something. That was way harder than the one that hit me. One of you. And if you're out there single, and if you're out there not single and want to make your significant other jealous, we need a volunteer right here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Thank you so much. What's your name? Eric. Eric. Give it up for Eric. Tonight is your lucky night. As it gets later in the evening and we get more desperate, we're gonna start picking up on you. <laughs> Not that we're desperate. I mean, you are a catch. I'm just saying it's getting late. Uh, so it's getting late. We're gonna give our best pi pitches to you to try to get you to take us home. We're gonna do one one word at a time. So one word at a time over here and one word at a time over there. Your only job is to vote on which one you like more with a thumbs up. Sometimes there might not be a winner, <laughs> and that's okay because we're doing these one word at a time. So um, to get us started, what is uh, like something you enjoy doing? Uh, well, playing golf. Playing golf, great. <laughs> golf is our first suggestion. Starting over there. Hole <laughs> in one <laughs> is your method of penetration. <laughs> If you want to get my number, you must have a handy caddy around. Yeah. yeah. All right. okay. Not necessarily into threesomes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> All right, uh, Eric. How about uh, do you, what do you do for work? Um, uh, Programmer. Programmer. Okay, cool. Programmer. Starting over here. Okay. Words make so many feelings happen through your fingertips. Yeah. <laughs> I'd stroke your keys if you would allow us. <laughs> yeah. 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 You were one. Oh. <laughs> Alright, he likes dirty. Yeah, right. he likes dirty now he is into multiples. Okay, <laughs> okay uh, Eric, what's uh, how's, what's a place you'd like to go? Uh, Italy. Italy. Alright. Italy, did you start? No, we did. Did you start? Started. Yeah, you will. Mama! <laughs> Me! You! Have! Plenty of spicy nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! A lot of spicy nuggets, really. Nuggets, nuggets. Eternally yours from the top of the European balcony <laughs> to beyond the catacombs of Italy. I will marry you forever until we 
die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. To give us a chance, this one's for all the yeah. ones. Uh, so a suggestion from our crowd, what's something that makes you feel romantic? <laughs> Just shout it out for all these strangers to hear. <laughs> No? Cool. What's something that makes you think of, okay, we'll do, uh, what's your favorite thing in the sky? Pie. I heard pie. 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 Over there? Over there? Fruity. Sweet. Crusty. <laughs> Yummy. Hot. These are for the Bedroom. And the parlor. And the car backseat. Yeah. 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 That's a they long might have got That's a long word. <laughs> Alright, pie, this is finished. Yeah. If you bake me down. <laughs> I will eat you up. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 Uh, oh, a little birdie. I think I'm right. Is, yeah. is it your yeah. birthday? Oh! Uh, it's coming. It's Tuesday. Oh. Yeah, thank you. And we got a little song for us. Yeah. Oh, we knew this already. We knew this. Ready? Uh, me, 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 Play a game called World's Worst. Ooh. You may have seen this one on Whose Line Is It Anyway. We'll get a suggestion from you, and they will come forward with a suggestion of the worst example of that thing. Uh, so to get us started, um, how about um, uh, a pet that you like? Iguana. Iguana. So World's Worst Iguana. <laughs> Excuse me, is this a plant-based fly? <laughs> no, no, that's not gonna work, that's not gonna work. Um, one ticket to Alaska, please? <laughs> You're gonna fall out of this. <laughs> um, well, give me a, a sport that you like. Soccer. Soccer, world's worst soccer player. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta kick the ball, ladies! <laughs> oh. Oh, that may be your goal, but what's my goal? <laughs> How about an occupation? Doctor. Doctor, Rolls Royce Doctor. Uh, go ahead, I need uh, 50 cc's of penicillin. <laughs> <laughs> That was unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> Do doctor? Uh, yeah, it probably can't be eight. <laughs> um, how about another occupation? Nurse. Nurse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nurse. Yeah? It's time for your second shot of... Penicillin. <laughs> <laughs> Close. <laughs> I'm just gonna check your blood pressure. Okay. <laughs> it, it hurts. <laughs> My arm's gonna fall off. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So I understand uh, you coded the other day. You lost your heartbeat, the whole deal. Yeah. Sorry, you just died. <laughs> yeah, it just died. Did they try the, uh, the, the, the CPR on you? Yeah, kind of like what you're doing now. Yeah. Should we try it now? <laughs> I... <laughs> I'm gonna... All right, I'm ready to give you a shot now. Oh! 
<laughs> They're getting worse and worse. Um, how about, uh, what's something you like to do with your family? Fight. Fight. Yeah. World's worst family fight. I respect your opinion. <laughs> subject you enjoyed in school? Physics. Okay, uh, I'll do PE first. World's first PE teacher. Okay. All right, so we're here for PE, so uh... <coughs> <laughs> no, we're, we're peeing. <laughs> so today we're doing soccer. Did you watch the video? <laughs> All right, I was in jail a long time. This is how we kept in shape. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna go. <laughs> and now let's see the world's worst physics teacher. A <coughs> equals N Q to the fourth power. <laughs> All right, hello, I'm your new uh, physics education teacher. I'm your PE teacher, I guess. Oh, uh, no! Hey! <laughs> yeah, I think that's our first half. Okay. So, uh, we're going to take a little break. You guys can hit our... You don't hit. You can use our rest of the uh, We also have our concessions over there. Sean will uh, sell you things so you can concess. What's and the sale on ice cream tonight, Sean? Uh, three dollars. All right. Hey, that's a deal. <laughs> Normally it's five dollars. <laughs> so uh, come back after our little intermission, and we'll give you a second half. <laughs>
into improv camp, send them our way. Uh, what are the dates on those, do you remember? July 8th to 10th and 22nd to 26th. All right. Ooh. Also, if you're watching this show and you're like, you know what, I have a corporation or a business or a church or just a little office party, I need some entertainment for that. Well, just hire us to come out and be funny, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty fun. <laughs> if you're watching this and you're like, man, I want to take some improv classes. Again, we have a sampler classes so you can try it out for a couple hours. And we have full uh, eight week to six week to eight week sessions that you can try out as well. So take a look at all of that on our website. Who's ready for the second half to start? first game we're going to play. It's a musical game. Oh, we need a line behind me. Does anybody remember that? I think it's 60s, right? The 60s a song, the Do Run Run? The Do Run Run Run. Oh, nobody? Okay, great. <laughs> this is going to go great. Uh, okay, so what's going to happen is I need a single syllable name. Does anybody have a single syllable name? Ben. 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 Ben and Ken. They both work. Okay, so Ben. So what's going to happen is you'll see they're going to start singing the song. Uh, we will start with the name Ben, and then they will have to rhyme with Ben, okay? And it will go through the song. When they mess up or run out of rhymes, they will be kicked out, and then they will only see who can win at the end, okay? So Ben is the song. If you want to say to do run, 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 to do run, run, as an audience, you're allowed to. So jump in there. It's fun. Uh, we'll start with Ben. Here we go. Give it up, Ben. <laughs> I met him on the weekend and the name was Ben. Did you run, 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 did you run, run? He lived down the street in a nice green den. Did you run, 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 did you run, run? Did you do, yeah? He had a chicken, a hen. Did you do, yeah? And he wrote with a pen. Did you do, yeah? And he lived now, not then. Did you run, 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 did you run, run? He had a best friend, her name was Jen. Did you run, 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 did you run, run? Meditate, so she's filled with zen. Do do run, 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 do do run, run, do do do, yeah. He liked Barbie and Ken. Do do do, yeah. He played in a pen. Do do do, yeah. And he was a sten. Do do run, run, sorry. I am sorry, sten is not a word in the dictionary. Therefore, you're also not going to play any of <laughs> uh, but you can do the D-Red run back down. Yeah. All right. So now you see how it works. Again, feel free to join in on the singing. <laughs> uh, do we have another single syllable name? Didn't we get two the first time? Lynn. Lynn? Yeah, but they were Ben and Ken. <laughs> okay, Lynn. We'll start here with Lynn. Give it up for them, Lynn. I met a girl on a Sunday at a 
like her name was Lynn. Did you run, run, run? Did you run, run? That old girl, she was full of sin. <laughs> did you run, run, run? Did you run, run? Did you do? Yeah. She liked to use a pen. Did you do? Yeah. Stay out of the lion's den. Did you do? Yeah. And she had a friend, Jen. <laughs> She went on a way lost journey so she could get real thin. Did you run, run, run? Did you run, run? She didn't know she's staying in yen. Did you run, run, run? I'm sorry. I'm not getting too much. Yen. All right. Okay, can I get another single syllable name, please? Mark. Mark. Here we go. Mark. Take it all. Let's go, Mark. We're going to go faster now. I met him on a Monday and his name was Mark. Did you run, run, run? Did you run, run? He built a big boat, it was an ark. Did you run, run, run? Did you run, run? Did you do? Yeah. That dog did bark. Did you do? Yeah. In the dark. Did you do? Yeah. A lark. Did you run, run, run? Did you run, run? I met him out at the park. Did you run, run, run? Did you run, run? His favorite animal was an ounce bark. Did you run, run, run? Did you run, run? Did you do? Yeah. You got in style. <laughs> All right, can I get a, this is our last round. Our winner's gonna be chosen. So can I get one last name? What is it? Neil. Neil! Neil. Here we go, Neil, take it away! You wanna start this one? Sure. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how are you going? Okay. Faster, right? Faster. Okay. I met a guy, his name was Neil. Did you run, 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 did you run, run? His favorite sushi is eel. Did you run, 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 did you run, run, did you do? Yeah, he liked to peel. Did you do? Yeah. He liked to cop field. Did you do? Yeah. He was really real. Did you run, 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 did you run, run? That sexy guy, he had a peel. Did you run, 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 did you run, run? His favorite color was teal. Did you run, 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 did you run, run, did you do? Yeah. He did steal. Yeah. And he turned me teal. Yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This actually needs everybody up behind me again. Yeah. This game is called Two Minute Experts. We're lucky. These guys are all experts in uh, a subject that you're going to give us right now. What is a topic that would normally not, uh, like it's not, it's not debatable on a political level that will upset people, but like on a pineapple on pizza kind of level. So what's, a, what's something that you might uh, debate with your friends and family? Great taste, less filling. Yes, taste is great, less filling. Uh, so your expertise will be in that. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Tastes great, less filling. You know, when you hear about that, you think of successful marketing campaigns, right? Because that's something that sticks with us. And I think that was a great idea that could have even gone a little further. I mean, if I had been the marketing executive, I know that I would have made a lot more money on that taste great, less filling. I object! What's your objection? You don't have a marketing degree! That's true, sissy. <laughs> You know what I would have done? I would have done a really cool, sexy jingle. You know, everyone likes R&B, just like, ooh, tastes good, less feeling. Yeah, that made you feel good inside. Hey, Jax, what's your objection? It's not taste good, it tastes great. <laughs> hey! Oh. Also, that was weak R&B. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why taste great, less feeling was so successful is because if the beer was still good quality, but the calories were low. So think we still have the good taste, it hits all the taste buds, but low calories so you don't put on the poundage. That's why that was such a successful campaign. I object. Appreciate your objection. He's too young to know what he's talking about. Sustain! <laughs> I was actually there. It was 19, circa 1972. And the reason that it was taste great, less filling, is because this beer was delicious. <laughs> it was the best beer I'd ever tasted. And I- I object! What's your objection, Sean? Uh, I wasn't there, so it's hard for me to object. I'm sorry, that doesn't mean that she- <laughs> <laughs> So when you drank the beer, the fuzz that was on the top, it was just, it was just foam. I so object! Yes, it is not fuzz, it it's not foam. Fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh. 
When you drink the foam at, at the top, it tastes so good that you don't even care that you're drinking no calories. You're just sipping away and you get a little mustache and that's half the fun. I object. Yes? I have never gotten a mustache from beer foam. Oh, that's too bad. Let's hear about it. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's one thing to be drinking milk and to get a, a mustache, but another thing to be drinking foam. I mean, that's a sloppy way to be sucking it down at the bar. <laughs> I object. Yes? You could drink it with a straw. Oh, let's hear about it. Ooh. Yes, the fun of a straw is not only is it for you, but it is for someone else. You can share on your date a little beer foam. Yeah, look at that. Let's go back to some R&B sexy times right now. Because... For the next game, we need uh, somebody's help. You don't have to come out on stage at all. You just have to give us your phone. So, who would <laughs> who would bravely volunteer to open up their text thread, find a thread, and then give it to us? Oh, Katie isn't no, definitely not going to. All right, and we're going to use the dialogue in your text thread as an acting scene. I know it's very dangerous. You will be anonymous. You will be completely anonymous. Nobody will know. And also, you'll get a free candy bar. <laughs> Come on, who wants a free candy bar? Give me your text. You got it? Uh, yeah? Is it pretty good? All right. OK. All right, so you're anonymous. Uh, this is a pretty good, but you get to choose who do you want to be on your phone that's going to be reading these lines as an actor. Someone's going to be playing me. Well, they're, they're just going to be, it'll, it'll be a scene. The, the only thing is that they're only allowed to say lines from your text, though. Oh. Yeah, so who do you want to be on your phone? Uh, you have a choice. Bridget? Bridget? Yeah. Okay. Bridget. So, uh, the other actors can say whatever they want, but Bridget has to say lines from your phone, okay? That's the only dialogue she's allowed. All right, where are they? Where are they? Church. Ooh. <laughs> It'll be fun. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we take you to church. Make some noise. The priest will be with you shortly. Well, he's taking his time. I know, but... Morning, Ernesto. Oh. No hurry. Oh. oh. Well, that's Just good. letting you know I'm here. Oh. Well, and ready when you are. I, well, we've been ready. Travel I, safe. I'll see you soon. All right. Take care. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Uh, good. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Uh, Let me uh, put the attire on you. I'm, I'm in route to see you soon. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be delivering the sermon any any minute. He's right. a little late. Well, I'm right outside the studio. Well, thank you, because we're recording today. Yeah. You know, sacred gold. <laughs> LLC. What just, is sacred gold, Just Father? sent you an invoice. <laughs> Father, excuse me, are, are we charging for this service now? <laughs> Reply, I to pay with 10% gratuity. <laughs> or, tap, or tap the link. I think we're, we're going to I think we're gonna get a lot of complaints, Father. Hmm. I mean, people already are putting it in the basket. I don't think they're gonna go with like an automated system. No, go paying for confession? That just doesn't seem right. I can get that from my hairdresser. <laughs> Ernesto, Ernesto. Yes. Here's your payment receipt oh. from Sacred Gold LLC. <laughs> I received the payment. So receipt. We're, we're officially a business now is what you're saying. I never asked for one, but thank you for the generous tip. You mean this came down from Vatican City? Absolutely, from the one up above. <laughs> uh, again, I appreciate your support. Oh. <laughs> wow. Wait, so do you have a company? No. No. Uh, this is me supporting. Uh, supporting some, another company. Supporting another company. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to give a shout out to that company? Um, yeah, sure. Sure. Um, this is a, a piercer that. Okay. Uh, in Union City. Union City Woo! Piercer, and the name is? Uh, and the, uh, the, the name is Sacred Gold. Sacred, Sacred Gold! Gold! Get your piercings in Union City! Sacred Gold! Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Piercing and tattoo. Piercing and tattoo! Oh, sweet! Get your ink there, too! 
All right, my next game requires four players behind me Ooh. in a square shape. A square shape. For a game we call four square. You guys don't get to play, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, so for four square, uh, they're gonna be in four different scenes. So when Sean and Edgar are in a scene, when they're in the front, they're in a scene together. And I might say, rotate. Now rotate right. And then Bobby and Sean will be in a scene together. Rotate again. Okay, get it? Rotate again. No. And that's four scenes, yay! Whoa. So when Edgar and Sean are in the, fir in the front, um, what's a song lyric that's been in your head lately? Huh. <laughs> that one that made you laugh. <laughs> what's been in your head? Why are there so many songs about rainbows? Why are there so many songs about rainbows? Oh, is your suggestion? About rainbows. How about a song lyric for these two? Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. I'm gonna get all song lyrics. All right. What you got for these two? Wop. 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 Yeah. Wop. Wop. What was that? And what you got for these two? <laughs> All right, let's rotate and review. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? Let it go. Wop. <laughs> who let the dogs out? And just to show them how I might shake things up, sometimes I might say, rotate left. Oh. I might say something like, rotate left twice. Oh. Cool, just so we know that I have the power again, which I enjoy. All right, cool, starting with these two. When you're ready, begin. Oh, Kirby, you've been in your bedroom all day writing a song, but you have nothing yet. I don't want to go out. <laughs> Kirby, are you mocking me? I yo! No, this is just how I talk now. Well, I can play banjo better than you. Oh, really? Let's hear it. Why are there so many songs about the rainbows? Oh, you're right. Come on, dude, you gotta get over this breakup. I can't right? do it, man. Come on, just let it go. Let it go. <laughs> whoa, you double fisted on me? Whoa, whoa, what, are you, what is that? <laughs> Come on, that's too much. Sorry, it's just I love her, man. She broke my heart. What did she do that made you feel so good? What did she do? Like this. This is what she did. <laughs> she held you down? Yeah, but it felt good. No, you don't want to be held down. Oh, really? Yeah, you want to open up and be held up. <gasps> Hold me up right now, bro. Oh, damn. Show me. <laughs> Dream last night. Yeah, what's was, up? Yeah, I was thinking about the song lyrics we're mm, writing. Mm, and, uh, mm, yeah, let's put a song do, together. Do, yeah, do, mm, do, mm, but mm, it's missing something. Mm, There's mm, like, you should have another, yeah, yeah. Mm, do, 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 it's missing something. Wop, 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 Yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, <right. laughs> I left the front door open for two seconds. That's it. Max, tops. What you mean you left it open? I went and got the Amazon package. I went ooh, ooh, like that, and they were, they just sped out. They were so quick. I trusted you to keep that gate locked. I know, I know, but I really was waiting for my knife sharpeners, okay? Oh, now where are we going to find the dogs? They're running free. Running free? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be 
down again. Big Mac, no, but wop 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 whopper with cheese. Huh? Whopper with cheese. <laughs> whopper with cheese. Didn't the big Big Mac whopper whatever come with the cheese though? No, there's well, you got to pay more for different it? companies. Big Mac, McDonald's, Whopper, with Cheese, Burger King. No wonder I'm not successful. Oh. Protein, right? <laughs> Look, I forgive you. Really? I do forgive you if, if you come with me to the shelter. I'll do it. I'll do anything for you. You would? Yes. <laughs> would you put on a collar? <laughs> We are gonna go to the last game of the night. Oh, everybody go. But it's super fun. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We need to send one brave soul out into our parking lot. It's gonna be shot. Okay, give it up for shot, everybody. All right. I need a bunch of suggestions, so get ready to shout a bunch of things out. Give me a sport. Hockey. Hockey. Give me a sport. Pickleball, give me a sport. <laughs> what? Football. Give me a household chore. Ooh, vacuuming. vacuuming. Give me a uh, something you like to do on the weekend. Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sleep. Okay, great. Give it up for those suggestions. <laughs> All right, what was that first one? Hockey. Hockey, okay. So instead of playing hockey on ice, what is something that you could never play hockey on? It would be something crazy. Sand, okay. <laughs> playing hockey on sand, okay. And what famous group of celebrities is your hockey team? You're playing hockey with? In sync, okay. <laughs> Give it up for that, playing hockey with NSYNC. <laughs> playing hockey on the sand with NSYNC. What a glorious suggestion. All right, what's the next one? Pickleball. Pickleball, okay. So pickleball, uh, who uh, are you playing against this time? So you're playing pickleball against a celebrity that we all know. Who are you playing against? Who? Ryan Reynolds, okay. So you're playing against Ryan Reynolds, and then the pickleball, it's not a ball. Oh, no, no, that's too easy. It's gonna be something, it's gonna be an animal. What animal is it? Jaguar. A jaguar. <laughs> wow, that's gonna be so fun that I'm glad I'm not playing that one. Okay, good, give it up for that one. What's the next one? Football. Football, okay. Uh, instead of wearing a helmet and pads, you're wearing something crazy to play football. What are you wearing? A fur coat, yeah. Okay, fur coat. And instead of having cheerleaders cheer for you, you have? Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, okay. Woo, that, be, that kind of does happen, huh? <laughs> okay, all right. What's the fourth one, Bridget? Vacuuming. Vacuuming, okay, instead of vacuuming the carpet and dust, you are vacuuming something crazy. What are we vacuuming? Tinfoil. What? <laughs> Tin foil. You're vacuuming aluminum foil, okay. And the, uh, usually a vacuum is powered by electricity, but this one is powered by? Rabbits. <laughs> rabbits. Rabbits. You know, it's a rabbit powered vacuum. That's fine. All right, and what's the next one? Sleeping. Sleeping, okay. Most of us sleep on a bed, I think, right? We're not going to sleep on a bed, though. We're going to sleep on a? Stove. A stove. <laughs> wow, you guys have some weird fantasies. Okay. You're sleeping on a stove, okay? And let's say you're listening to some, you know, like some night music or something or to help you sleep. What are we listening to to help us sleep? Metallica. Uh, say it again. Metallica. Metallica. <laughs> okay. Sure. That always puts me to sleep. <laughs> All right. Give it up for your suggestions. <laughs> Woo! All right. Here is what is about to happen. Poor Sean. Oh, my goodness. So Sean's going to come back in onto the stage, all right? And the actors on stage are going to try to show him these clues, all right? Now, they're not allowed to use English or any known languages. They're going to use the language of gibberish, like ba-ba-da, ba-ba-ba-ba, so made-up language. And they're going to try to show him each of the physical activities, get him to start doing that activity, and they're, they're, then they're going to try to show him the changes that we've made, okay? Does that make sense? So uh, after some uh, intervals of time, I will say, Sean, what are you doing? He will come up and he will say what he thinks he's doing. If he's right, which will be incredible based on the suggestions, <laughs> we're all gonna go crazy. Let's practice. He got it right! Yeah. All right, and if he's wrong, everybody go, no! <laughs> Let's practice that. One, two, three, no! All right, 
so that's going to happen a lot, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, so can we review? Bridget can come up here and yes. let's review these, please. What is the first one? Hockey, but instead of uh, playing on ice, we will be playing on sand. And instead of playing with teammates, we will be playing with NSYNC. Okay, and the second one is? Pickleball. Instead of playing against another team, we will be playing against Ryan Reynolds. And instead of a ball, the ball will be a jaguar. <laughs> jaguar. <laughs> Number three. Football. Instead of wearing a uniform, we will wear a fur coat. And instead of cheerleaders, we will have Taylor Swift. Wonderful. Number four. Vacuuming. Instead of uh, vacuuming carpet, we are vacuuming aluminum foil, and instead of being powered by electricity, it's powered by rabbits. Yes, and number five. And sleeping. Instead of sleeping in a bed, we're going to sleep on a stove, and instead of listening to um, white noise, we're going to listen to Metallica. Yes, okay. <laughs> All right. If Sean gets one of these, I will be so surprised. <laughs> but let's root for him. Come on, let's bring Sean back in here. Sean, unfortunately for you, you have a crazy crowd. Uh, okay, audience, are we ready to see Sean suffer? <laughs> Give Sean the applause, let's go! Sand, and I'm doing it with the Backstreet Boys. No, that is not right. It's sick. Sorry. Tomato, tomato. All right, there you go. Oh. 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 Oh.
and you continue to support it. So thank you so, so much. Here's another round of applause. <laughs> Give it up for the amazing Catherine up there on Let's Go. Uh, we only spread through word of mouth because we can't afford advertising. <laughs> so if you like the show, tell uh, tell your friends, you know, come out and support this cool little fun improv theater company. If you also, didn't like oh, the show, sorry. Go tell ahead. your enemies. Yeah, tell your enemies. <laughs> show them. Yeah. Uh, on your way out, also, if you'd like to support us, you could throw a tip into our Like It bucket if you like the show. If you did not like the show, no worries. Throw some money in the Dislike It bucket. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Good night.